Okay. And I think we're gonna start with a song we're a little more comfortable with to get our voices warmed up. So I want you all to stand up, please, right where you are. Okay, remember the water cycle song? Yeah. Is that a good one to get warmed up on? Yeah. Get your bodies warmed up too? Yeah. Okay, do you want to, are you okay? Do you need to see it or are you okay not seeing it? Okay. Okay, what comes first? Evaporation. Evaporation, then what comes next? Condensation. Condensation, then? Precipitation. Precipitation on my mind. And it's just the water cycle. And it happens all the time. Excellent. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation on my mind. And it's just the water cycle. And it happens all the time. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation on my mind. And it's just the water cycle. And it happens all the time. You good? Yeah. Good job. Okay. So, who can tell me what a sentence is? We're studying sentences. And in English, yesterday we talked about Spanish and English sentences are a little bit different because we move around the order of the words, don't we? Yeah. Sometimes verbs and adjectives are in different orders in English and Spanish. Okay, who can tell me what a sentence is? Rodrigo? The sentence, they are like, you need to use adjectives. Phrases to make a big, nice, beautiful, complete sentence, right? Do we sometimes use really short, easy sentences? Yeah. Yes, all the time. We do all the time. But right now we're learning how to make really good, strong, long sentences. And because we're studying the rainforest, here's our, here's our chart. What are our nouns that we used? What are these ones that we used? Juan? Jaguar. Jaguars. Raise your hand if you like a jaguar. Okay. What about this one? Toucan. Who used a toucan on their sentences? We only had a couple of you. Okay, good. Then we had monkeys, monkeys insects, snakes. and snakes. Okay, and we have these red words. What do these red words do? Adjectives. Adjectives. And what do they do? Describe, describe, describe what? Words. Something that you do. Our nouns, our themes, our people, places, or things. Okay, so who can give me some adjectives that describe a jaguar? Rawr. Pedro. Um, big. Big? Are jaguars big? Yeah. Yes. Um, Almadelia? Happy. Happy. Maybe they're happy. Maybe they just ate lunch. Okay. Spots. Spotted. Right? They're spotted. Bad. Bad. Why would you think a jaguar would be bad? Why would it be bad? Kevin? He's the most ferocious species. He is the most ferocious species in the rainforest, isn't he? Okay. What about a monkey? Who can look at, who can find an adjective here that describes a monkey? Hmm. Amy, can you find one here that describes a monkey? Brown. Brown. Monkeys can be brown, can't they? Good. Miguel? Happy. Happy. Samantha, what's an adjective that describes a monkey? Say it again. Sleepy. Sleepy. Do, do monkeys get sleepy, do you think? Yeah. I think you're right. Yvonne, what's one that describes a monkey? Big. Big. Can monkeys grow really big? Yeah. Can they also be tiny? Yeah. Who's studying the squirrel monkey? Do those get really huge? Or are they really small? Big. They're pretty big? Okay. They're about medium size, maybe small? Okay. What about insects? I need some adjectives that describe an insect. Alma Zarate, can you give me an adjective to describe an insect? Or you can think of one in your brain. You don't have to use from one, one from our list.
Do you want an assistant? Go for it. Little. little. Are insects little? Yeah. Absolutely. Are there some big insects in the rainforest? Yeah. You are there some ugly insects in the yeah. rainforest? Are there some that you don't want crawling in your bed at night? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay, last one, snakes. You guys love snakes. What are some adjectives that describe a snake? Betsy, can you tell me what a snake is like? A snake is like big. It's big. They can get really big in the rainforest, can't they? Alessandra? Green. Green. They're green sometimes. Patty? Green. What did you say? Big. Can you give me a new one? Betsy gave me big. Bad. Bad. They can be bad. Why could they be bad? What's special about some snakes? What's our word for today? Miguel. Poison. Poisonous. Does that make them dangerous to you and to me? Yeah. Sometimes. Could maybe we get bit and still be okay? Yeah. Yeah. But we also would need to go to the hospital, okay? We don't want any dangerous, venomous snakes sleeping in our beds at night. Okay. Okay, so we have our adjectives, our nouns, our verbs. What are the verbs again? Actions. Actions. It's what they do, right? So what the animals do, our adverbs is how they do those things. Do some of them do the, do the, some animals run quickly? Yeah. All of them almost? All of them almost? What about a turtle? Uh, slow. Slowly, right? Yeah. They run slowly or they walk slowly. Okay, and the prepositional phrases, you guys got me on this one yesterday. What's the prepositional phrase? What is it? It's where, it's happening, right? On, above, under. Okay, and you gave me some great ones, the understory, in the bushes, in the sticks. Okay, so yesterday our sentence was, will you read it with me? Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground. One more time. Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground. Hmm. Can we do it one more time before we sing it? Let me get my, my cow. Okay, ready? Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground. Do you remember our tune for singing our sentences? Yes. London Bridges. London Bridges, okay? <laughs> okay, but not that fast, right? Okay, so we go like this. Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground. Quickly on the ground. Quickly on the ground. Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground, quickly on the ground. One more time? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got a question. What does it mean, poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground? What are they doing? Show me what they're doing with your hands. What are they doing? What are those poisonous red snakes doing? They're eating. You guys are such mannered eaters. Look at the manners you have. Okay. What does poisonous mean again? Poisonous? Who's got the word in Spanish? Who's got it in Spanish? Andrea? Venenoso. Venenoso. Okay, poisonous. Red. Show me red. Point to some red in the room. Okay, red. Oh, there's Kevin's got his water bottle. Excellent. So poisonous, red. Snakes, point to some snakes. Okay. And they're eating. How are they eating? Quickly. Quickly. Show me eating quickly. On the ground. Can you carefully get on the ground? Look at my second graders eating quickly on the ground. Okay. We're ready. Let's sing it one more time, and then we'll choose your sentences, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground, quickly on the ground, quickly on the ground. Poisonous red snakes eat quickly on the ground, quickly on the ground. Who has 
a sentence they would like to share with the class? Who has a sentence they'd like to share? Let's see, who haven't I called on yet? Luis, would you like to share yours? Okay, you go ahead and say it, and then we'll... I'm going to try and copy it while you say it, okay? Go ahead. Six yellow jaguars fight madly on the ground. Big yellow jaguars fight madly on the ground. Ooh, that's a good one. Fight madly on the ground. Did I get it right, Luis? Yeah, it's okay? All right, did I put my capital in the right place? Yeah. Did I put my period in the right yeah. place? Yeah. All right, so here's our sentence. Can you read it with me? Yeah. Big, Big yellow jaguars fight madly on the ground. Shh. Excuse me, show me madly, madly. <laughs> You're not, you don't look very mad. Oh, Pedro's got a good mad look on his face. Luis, oh, you guys, you're good. Harleen, you don't look very mad. You got a big smile on your face. <laughs> okay, excellent. So mad's like, grrr, right? You're mad. Okay, so fight madly. Show me fighting. Okay, uh, Kevin, not with each other. Okay. Bad decision, teacher, okay. Big yellow, show me some yellow. Point to some yellow in the room. No, our big poster's made of yellow, isn't it? Okay, you guys got yellow markers, excellent. Thank you. Okay, you can sit down now, thank you. All right, so we have big yellow jaguars. What are they doing? Kevin, what are the jaguars doing? Fighting. Fighting. How are they fighting? Madly. Pedro? Madly. Madly. And where? On the ground. On the ground. the ground. They're all on the ground. You ready to sing it? Yeah. Big yellow jaguars fight madly on the ground. Madly on the ground. Madly on the ground. Big yellow jaguars fight madly on the ground. Madly on the Excellent. Who has another one they'd like to share? Hmm, I did a boy this time, so I need to pick a girl this time. Giselle, you want to share yours? Okay. I'll get back up here and I'll try and write while you're working. Okay, we got to put our listening caps on, please. I'm ready, Giselle, when you are. Is one poisonous monkey scratch, Oh, that's terrible, Giselle. Poisonous monkeys. <laughs> Oh, I told her she was writing a fiction story yesterday. Small poisonous monkeys. What? That letter looks like an ugly I know, I'm sorry, it's an ugly S, isn't it? Yeah. Is it okay if I just leave it kind of ugly? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Small poisonous monkeys. What are the poisonous monkeys doing? Fighting. Fighting. Scratching. Scratching. Scratch. How are they scratching? Quickly. Quickly. And where are they scratching? On the canopy. In the canopy. In the canopy? In the canopy? They don't Thank you. Okay, I need some help. Who can tell me where the canopy is? I can't seem to remember, okay? We have our rainforest started over here. If we're talking about the canopy, who can come show me where the canopy is? Who can show me where it is? Alma, come on over. You can have my pointer, because maybe you can't reach it. Because maybe I can't reach it, okay? Where is the canopy? Everybody else have it in your head. Okay, where do you think it is? All right, what do you think? Is that the canopy? Oh. Uh oh, what's wrong? 
Uh oh. It has to be on the top of those two. Can you reach a little higher, Alma? Oh. So what's special about the canopy? If this is our canopy right here, what's special about it? What's it like? Thank you, Alma. What's it like, Rodrigo? Like the, the top. It's the top, right? Is it the tallest, tallest? No. No, it's just that top layer. And what is it like? A umbrella. A big umbrella, right? Remember our layer song? Yeah. The canopy is like a big umbrella. Okay. So they're fighting on the ground? Where are they fighting? Canopy. Up in the treetops, right? Scratching. Okay. Oh, right. They're not fighting. They're scratching. But if you're scratching somebody, are you just scratching or are you fighting? Fighting. You're fighting. Okay, all right, so you ready to sing this one? First we better read it and then we'll sing it. Here we are. Did I forget something? Look at my sentence. You probably can't see it very well. Look at my sentence. Did I forget something on my sentence? Yeah. There's something important about my sentence. <laughs> Alessandra, what did I do? Um, I get big. A big letter. How do you say big letter in English? Capitals. Capitals. You got it. I forgot to put a capital here. So I'm just going to make it big. Okay? Small poisonous monkey scratch quickly in the canopy. Can you all your eyes see this last sentence? Okay. All right. So let's see, read it together. Small poisonous monkeys scratch quickly in the canopy. What is a monkey like? Show me. Show me. I love this one. Oh, oh, okay, good. And show me with your hands, not touching anybody, but in the air, show me what it means to scratch. Scratch. Okay. So we have monkeys scratching quickly, okay, and they're up in the treetops. Okay. Thank you, scratching monkeys. <laughs> All right, so we'll read it one more time, then we'll sing it. Ready? Yeah. Small poisonous monkeys scratch quickly in the canopy. Singing? Yeah. Small poisonous monkeys scratch quickly in the canopy. Quickly in the canopy. Quickly in the canopy. Small poisonous monkeys scratch quickly in the canopy. Quickly in the canopy. Question? Why did I tell Giselle that she wrote a fiction, a fiction sentence? Why is it a fiction sentence? Andrea? Um, the monkeys, they're not um, poisonous. Monkeys aren't poisonous. Okay. Snakes, some snakes are poisonous. What else can be poisonous in our rainforest? Flowers? Um, raise your hand, please. Juan? Six. Some insects are poisonous. Uh, Michelle? Flower. There are some flowers that if you that, that do have some poison in them. Yes. Okay. Um, Kevin? Tarantula. Tarantulas. A snakes. Snakes. Okay, we said snakes. There's something else I'm thinking of. Jose? Frogs. You got it. Remember we talked about the poison dart frog? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful but very dangerous. There's some lots of frogs in the rainforest that are poisonous. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pull out your English journals, your rainforest journals, and you're going to pick three sentences. What's a sentence again? What does a sentence have, Kevin? It has a... It begins with a capital. Good. And then at the end there's like a period and the other the words that are inside are not capitalized. Good. So unless it's a name, right? Names are capitalized. But the rest of them are not capitalized. And are you going to use le um, words from each of these columns? Yes, you can use two adjectives, not more. You can use one or two adjectives, noun, a verb, an adverb, and a prepositional phrase. Okay? 
You have to write three sentences, and then you need to illustrate. Remember what illustrate is? Yeah. What is it, Alma? Um, draw a picture. Draw a picture. Okay, you're going to illustrate at least one of your sentences. So, if I'm talking about small poisonous monkeys scratching quickly in the canopy, I'm going to draw a little picture of small poisonous monkeys, very dangerous looking monkeys, scratching in the treetops. Okay? Questions? Okay, keep your English hats on, remember, or else. Okay? All right, I'm going to call your names. And would you help me pass them out, please? Would you help me? Okay. I just got two. Okay, and you just need to find the next empty pace in your learning log. Yes. Um, how about right before we go to specials? Okay. Miguel. Yes, go ahead. Me okay. Miguel. There you go. That one's not yours? Probably Amy, because she hasn't been here. Okay, who's this? Melissa. Okay. You only have one more page? Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so if, if you want to use in the middle of your book, the very middle of your book, you have a whole open page. Well, you want to use this whole thing because you'll write your sentences below and then up above you'll do your picture. Okay? If you write small enough to write on one page, that's okay, but I want you to have room for your picture. Okay? You're not doing that right now. Okay. Nice try. Okay, so go ahead, get started on your sentences. I'll come around. Do it on this page. Okay? And make sure you put your dates, your name and your dates. And then do the other part? Yes, yes, you can. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. That would be fine if you want to write here and do your picture there. That's a great idea. Hmm. What's wrong? 